Hi, this is Alex Masichev of Antvilion, the developers of Dita2 Dita CMS. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how Dita2 can help you create new deliverables from the existing content without using a Dita editor and how you can branch entire projects. In a nutshell, project is a Dita map, all topics that the map references, all other files such as graphics to which the topics refer and configuration settings associated with this particular content. Let's say we have some content in the repository already and we now want to assemble a new deliverable from the existing content. To keep things in order, we are going to create a new folder. In this folder, we're creating a new project. If we go to the Projects tab, we'll see that the new project was created. It's currently empty, and I'm going to show you a few ways to populate it with topics. One way is to search using a standard full-text search. We can also search by metadata. For example, we can specify that we want to find all topics whose category is set to Overview. From the Search Results pane, we can preview a topic to make sure this is what we're looking for. And now we can select a single topic or multiple topics and add them to the project. The topics are now added. We can also right-click on the project, select Add Topics to Project, and pick up the topics we need from this window. Or, on the Repository tab, we can just select the required topics and add them to the project. The project now has all topics we want, and we only need to organize them into the hierarchy we need. We can move the topics by dragging and dropping them, just like this. Or by using these arrow buttons. When we're done, we check in the project into the central repository. As you can see, we've just assembled a new project that we can now publish or send for translation. In some cases, we may want to create a new project based on an existing project. Instead of going through the assembly process as you saw it over and over again, we can just branch the existing project. We can now select an existing project and ask Dita2 to branch it. Here we can select the location in the repository where we want to store the copy. And D2 offers us three options now. The first option is useful when you want to modify just the map itself, for example, to remove some topics or add new topics or maybe change the hierarchy of the topics. In this case, D2 creates a copy of the map and updates the references to the topics. The topics themselves are not copied.
The second option is useful when we want to reuse the outline of the original project, but the contents of the topics will be entirely different. In this case, Data2 creates a copy of the map and every single topic is used in the original project, but delete the contents of the topics, leaving just titles. Finally, the third option is useful when we want to get a full copy of the project and then we are going to modify everything, both the map and topics. In this case, Dita2 creates a copy of the map of every single topic and of every single image used in the original project. This was an overview of how you can use Dita2 to assemble new deliverables and branch projects. Please don't hesitate to contact us for more information. Also, we'll be happy to see you in our community in LinkedIn, where we discuss both Dita2-related topics and general Dita issues. Thank you.